Hey guys, I'm Caleb Kennan from Stay Anchored Audio in Ames, Iowa. Today I'm going to do a video on how to record acoustic guitar in stereo with two different types of mics. Um, today I have a Shure SM7B, which is a large diaphragm dynamic microphone, and I have an Audio Technica AT4040, which is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And the reason I'm using two different types of mics is because I'm sending these mics to a friend um, to record a project and he's using this one as a vocal mic. It's kind of a legendary vocal mic in some aspects. The Michael Jackson microphone, uh, as some people like to call it. Um, and then I'm send, sending this microphone because I had it laying around and I don't use it a whole lot. Um, and it's a good microphone for recording acoustic guitar. So um, I'm going to dive in here. So let's go. All right, so I have my uh, microphones set up here, um, and I have them set up in a kind of particular way. Um, you can see that I have the Shure SM7B on the bridge, and the reason why I put it on the bridge is it has probably a little bit of a better um, bass response than the um, AT4040 would. Um, and I think I have the roll-off on on this um, and that just gets rid of the really low lows um, below like 80 to 100 Hertz um, and so I have that um, and I have it pointing at an angle kind of toward the sound hole um, you'll notice that because the reason I do that is because uh, at the sound hole you get a lot of bass buildup um, and you don't want necessarily overwhelming bass with acoustic guitars a lot of times unless that's what you're going for which I particularly don't like that sound. Um, so I try to angle it a little bit and then I have it over here on, this, uh, on the left side of the guitar by the bridge. And then I have the AT4040, the large diaphragm condenser that probably has a little more detail, uh, a little more clarity um, up on the top end of the neck. Um, and I have it pointing to about the fifth or seventh fret, probably yeah, about at the seventh fret or so. And both of these mics are about, um, so my hand width apart from the capsule is about a hand width apart from the guitar. And I would translate that to be about six to nine inches. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and play the guitar and give you kind of a test of what it sounds like. picking as well. All right, guys, now that you've seen the setup of how I set up the microphones to record guitars, um, let's go into the DAW. Um, I am using Reaper version 6.37, um, and I will show you how to kind of do things in the DAW with this guitar recording that we've had a little bit. I'll show you some basics, um, things that I've done uh, just with the raw guitar tracks. Okay, so first of all, um, we need to have a level that we set our guitar to, our gain level. We need to have that set to a sufficient spot. Um, and I'll show you where I've set that here. So I'll set both of my faders to zero so it shows true unity. Um, and I'll go ahead and play it. And so you'll notice that my peaks are around negative 18 dB. Um, that is where I like to aim for guitar um, to uh, have sufficient headroom so that I'm not clipping. Um, and also a lot of consoles and um, DAWs, uh, like Reaper in this instance, have a tick mark for negative 18. So it's a good place to aim um, if you're wanting to 
uh, if you're wanting to get to that level. Um, how did I come up with this number? I think I Googled it at some point and throughout my years of doing audio stuff, I have just really settled on like negative 18 is the standard of where I set my gain levels to on in the digital domain. Um, they call that DBFS, negative 18 DBFS decibels full scale um, is the digital domain when you're uh, setting levels. So that's where I like to set my level for recording. I also do that level uh, set to that level when I'm uh, doing live sound as well. Um, so yeah, that's where I set the level. Um, you can set it a little bit higher or lower, but like the higher you set it, the the less gate headroom you have, and sometimes the lower you set it, the more noise you can have, but that's not as much of a problem nowadays as it was in the days of analog. Um, so, uh, moving on, I will show you the recording of the guitar again, just so you can kind of have it fresh in your mind. Something to note is that I have each guitar panned hard left and, or each microphone panned hard left and hard right. With the AT4040 being on the right and the SM7B being on the left. That's the guitar that you can hear again. Um, so something I've noticed a little bit, um, not too terribly bad because I think I did a pretty good job of setting the gains pretty similarly, um, is that you may have to adjust the volume on one side or the other to get it to balance out evenly. So the guitar sits kind of in the middle of the, of the imaging if that's where you want it to sit. Um, so. What I'm going to have to do is go in here and adjust the volume level of what I think is the SM7B um, as the culprit because I think it's just a little bit louder. So I'm going to adjust the volume down a little bit. Just down 1 or 2 dB. That helps the AT4040 to be heard just a little bit more. Um, and kind of sets it in the middle of the mix. So something else I'm going to do um, is we are going to listen to each side individually um, to get a feel for what each microphone sounds like. So I'm going to put both of these in the middle and then solo the SM7B right now. picking all right that's the sm7b it has kind of a more mellow um i would say a little bit kind of dead sounding to it it's not as bright um a little bit darker um it just kind of has a different sound to it. Um, it's not my complete favorite on guitar, but when you mix it in, it sounds nice. Um, so I'll go to the AT4040, which has quite a bit different tone to it. As you can tell, there's a lot more clarity and articulation to the AT4040. That's just kind of how the way that microphone is. And then the other thing that might have a whole lot to do with it is the mic placement. As you might remember, we placed the SM7B 
uh, closer to the bridge um, where there is a little more bass, uh, not as much of that kind of punch and clarity as there is up on the strings. Um, we place the AT4040 up the neck, um, and that gives a little more clarity and brightness to the sound. Yeah, that's a method I use to record guitar in stereo when you don't have two of the same mic laying around, um, or you just kind of want to switch it up a little bit and get some different tones from the left and the right side when you're recording in stereo. Um, feel free to leave a comment um, and subscribe, um, and it's been good. Uh, see you guys next time.